newest arrival. This is a 2022 Mercedes Sprinter. It's a 3500, it's a 170 wheelbase, it's not the extended, and it's a four x four. This is a beast. This is the very same van that Mr. and Mrs. Sprinter chose for their build. 170 Sprinter, 3500, four x four. This one is gonna be a beast. Interesting side note, it took almost two years from the date of order to deliver this van to my shop, two years. So as you can see, we did our cardboard walkthrough. It is a vital part of the build process. Very, very beneficial. This couple brought the van up from Virginia, delivered it over the weekend. We spent the day, we spent Saturday configuring this van. They came in with a preconceived notion of their floor plan and where they wanted things to go. But once you get these components in that are built to size to the quarter inch, you see that it's not the same as what you draw out on paper or tape out on the floor. The cardboard build to the extent we take it is a vital part of the build process. It's the beginning. From here, everything else is refinement, which is what we're going to do. Um, this is the isotherm. Uh, the Cruise 195, this is the, the beauty. This is a dual compressor, refrigerator, freezer. It's the best of the best. Uh, in this module, we have it sitting low on the floor with cabinets above. Uh, that's gonna change because we put this on half of the wheel well. So you can't get the fridge on half a wheel well. You gotta lift it up to the point where the wheel well comes in under it. So the fridge is going up and this storage space will now move under the fridge. That is gonna be maybe for shoes. I may leave it open like I did in Sam's van and he loves that. It's just an, a big open space. He can put whatever he wants in there. You don't need a drawer, you don't need doors. Just a nice open space that's finished. And then of course a pantry very important to put a pantry in for your food, maybe some clothing. Uh, the bottom of the pantry is going to have two drawers and again, more mechanicals underneath. And then this will be an ideal spot for my breaker panel that we show in the van. And then the big bathroom. These are one of the, uh, uh, one of the objectives that this couple has is that they have a very comfortable residential experience inside the van. So we gave them a nice big shower, uh, bathroom, and of course, a huge galley. I think this one is over five feet. This is closer to six and a half feet long. Uh, they do want a microwave, a convection microwave. They are both uh, excellent cooks. Cooking is a big part of their lives. So we're gonna have a very, very unique, professional quality galley here. We're gonna put the microwave here. We're going to look for a drawer style microwave that will fit in this galley. We're not going to have room to put it in the end of the bulkhead here at the end of the aisle because they have a 50 gallon water tank, 50 gallons. I told you this is going to be a beast. Wait till I take you back there. That's the, that's the crux of this whole beastly matter. You'll see overhead cabinets, right? We always do that straight down the line. Over the galley, they're shallow so that you don't hit your head. And there'll be task lighting here. And then over the bed, over their feet, is a much larger cabinet. Cavernous, I would say. Uh, up front, we're going to have a beautiful fixed office for uh, uh, when they do their work on the road. And this is going to be a fixed office with storage underneath, um, similar to the front lounge area in a pleasure way. Plateau FL. They've got a nice little lounge up front. You spin the driver's seat around. Both of these seats swivel. So we'll be doing lagoon tables. We'll be doing counter extensions. Anything and everything that you can think of doing in a van, I think we're going to do it in this van. We're getting radiant heat in addition to air cabin heat. So this van is going to have a Wabasto air cabin heater. It's also going to have an SBAR hydronic system which is going to provide radiant heat around the perimeter like their Airstream has. They liked it in the Airstream. I think it's the Aldi system in the Airstream. It's quiet, passive, radiant heat. 
So we're going to be running that in here all along the perimeter, powered by an S-bar, diesel fired, with its own closed loop glycol. We'll have another closed loop glycol system to make hot water while they drive. Let me take you back there and show you what's going on. So this is really where all of the beastly power resides. In the garage, we've got a fixed bed. This is going to be a queen size bed, uh, 60 inches deep, 71 this way. And uh, they got a lot of storage room under that bed, as you know. Fixed bed is a very efficient way to, to develop a van, uh, the living space inside a van. You get a lot of storage space and I get to put all my mechanicals and important stuff within view positioned over the axle, which is where I like to do it. Look at this, 50 gallons of water, 50 gallons of water in a van. 630 amp hour lithium battery from Lithionics, the big Mameluke, and its own inverter. On this side, another 630 amp hour lithium battery and its own inverter. Right. 1,260 amp hours of lithium. Two inverters dedicated to separate functions in the van. Uh, BMS on uh, each one, or one BMS tied together. You can yoke these two batteries together and have one single BMS control them. Uh, obviously, we're gonna have a second alternator up front dedicated charging to these batteries. Solar on the roof. We have our hot water maker. So in addition to the, uh, the radiant heat, the passive radiant heat with the S-bar, which will have its own glycol loop, uh, we'll have a secondary glycol loop to make their hot water when they're driving. This van's going to have everything in it. Everything we've ever thought and talked about is going in this van. Uh, this couple, they're experienced RVers. They've got a big, beautiful Airstream. Uh, and they're also boaters. They're avid boaters. Uh, their knowledge bank, I mean, we could have talked for days about boats, but uh, they know what they want. They know their, their expectations are high, and I understand them because I come from the same world. So this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a great build.